hey what's up everybody Giorgio Bloso here and uh, thanks for stopping by to check out this video on how to fix uh, invalid signature in uh, 3ds max so I uh, recently just been uh, I recently started using Reflow. I heard that it's uh, one of the coolest application out there for fluid simulation and uh, uh, distractions dynamics and all that so I thought I would give it a go and uh, finally I uh, managed to start um, using it so uh, the problem that I uh, been f I've been fake I've been facing uh, is that I uh, I was having a problem that when I export from uh, from Reflow to 3ds max I was getting a problem uh, saying that invalid signature so yeah so today we're just gonna fix that problem uh, it's actually not that complicated um, but uh, I managed to figure out um, how to I managed to figure out how to fix that problem so to start with I'm just gonna show you guys what uh, what that is so i'm just gonna go to uh this is a, a real flow uh real flow uh export that I've, I've already made so i'm just gonna go here and then i'm gonna go here and then when you look inside the mesh it's empty this is because um but when you go to particles there's something there when i import it say import it's there uh, and when I play this it's bringing up a log saying that invalid signature so yeah so today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this and I recently was watching a video on YouTube by this guy here he was making a well he made an introduction uh, tutorial uh, how to you know reflow to 3ds max but he uh, never explained how to you know how to basically how to export the simulation so I made a comment here and he hasn't he hasn't uh, replied yet and I've seen a lot of guys having like these guys having the same problem as me and uh, yeah so well he's not replying back so I guess he's a busy man you know everybody has responsibilities to take care of you know uh, so I figured that you know in production sometimes it's it's very important to be able to f uh, solve problems on your own. Um, yeah. So today I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I'm assuming that by this time you will you will have already. Uh, let me check. You will have only uh, you would have already made your uh, how do you call it your scene uh, in 3ds Max. And then export it, uh, uh, th export it for real, real flow to read. Uh, as I said, this video is solely focusing on how to fix that problem. Yeah. So the problem is you'd bring your, uh, you'd bring your your scene into 3ds Max and simulate and do all those kind of things. But what the problem is is that here where it says export. And then export uh, central when you come here remember before you actually put put in the uh, before you build the mesh for 3ds max you need to uh, check you need to come here where it says particle mesh VDB if you open that by default you uh, this would be to where it says mesh sequence abc abc stands for alembic so this is where this would be right so before you uh put down the uh before you build your mesh you need to make sure you check um you check mesh cache bin right so if you don't check that you're gonna go to 3ds max and then you're gonna go inside the um the mesh folder and there's not going to be nothing for you to read and therefore Reflow is going to have a problem saying that invalid signature 
all right so once you've clicked that and then you click that and then you know uh, and then you can build your mesh and then when you come to 3ds max right so this is just a quick scene uh when you come to 3ds max and when you go to real flow and then when you go to create bin i'm just gonna go to that uh right so this is it real flow 2 test bin uh meshes oh sorry 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 uh, yeah yeah come to max 2 sorry yeah text and then when you go to meshes there you have it you know there you have it guys it's there uh so just make sure you do the right things and um i mean uh, this is a just a very short video i've just started using uh, real flow and i think it's an amazing application and i'm gonna learn a lot a lot a lot um and then hopefully i'll be doing tutorials uh, showing you guys how to do all kinds of you know simulations and stuff yeah so if you found this video helpful um don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumb with a, a like or a dislike and uh leave a comment uh under the yeah under the uh comment section and um yeah guys uh this is it uh thanks for checking out this tutorial and i uh, hope to see you uh next time cheers